day, everyone, and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. It's a lovely early morning. We're here at kind of a, a high low tide time, which means that there should be a lot of minis on the sand for us. We're just starting off with a nice simple one. It is a cream colored bladder moon snail. Once again, during this tide height or these tide times, it uh, pushes a lot of sand into the rock pools and then a lot of minis onto the shore. So hopefully we get some really good ones today. What do we think? Is this one whole? It looks like both halves. Yes, it is both halves. This one is a lovely maroon colored bird cardita. I'll probably be slipping in quite a few of these into my bucket as I find them. Yes, I'm not really spending much time in the rock pools today, but yes, I do want to collect him just at the shore here. I did pick up another piece kind of sneaky sneaky off camera as well. It is lovely lace coral. Oh, that is always nice to see. Yes, I have some pink lace coral and yeah, there was another very small fragment of it down here as well. I'll try to pick up as many as possible, but who knows, this, this might be all I find today. Pearl oysters do wash up here with some regularity and they are all different uh, colors. Obviously all the same shape though. <laughs> they're, they're, I mean, they're a pearl oyster. I never really have much interest in collecting them, but this one's kind of nice with that deep burgundy color. It's even got like a little yellow stripe going up it. Praise the sun, it has just arrived to help me look for the shinies. Uh, before I find any shinies, though, I'm gonna collect this guy, a lovely discrepant Venus. Yes, the sun showed that just before it hit again. Yes, it helped me to find the shiny. Oh, I think he's got a big crack through him. He is whole on the bottom. Yes, I do see it now. There is quite a hairline crack through the top. Oh, that is so nice and glossy though. I'm probably gonna keep it crack and all. This one is a lovely yellow toothed cowrie. They do lighten out quite considerably, so he will turn a light blue color, but at the moment he looks almost black. During the morning, I am going to be picking up a lot of miscellaneous minis, although I will show this one. That one is a telescope dove shell, slightly worn away. I'll be picking up plenty of these guys though. Yes, they are very common, probably the shell I've collected the most of ever. They are little pheasant shells. Oh, he is lovely. Look at the scales on that. That was like instantly very eye-catching. Like, look at his swoop. This one is another bird cardita, but very, very lovely. I should mention that bird cardita is uh, pretty much the translation of the scientific name. So I think I'm the only one that calls these bird carditas. Ooh, I was, I was picking up pheasant shells. I didn't squat down for this one. Is this the first? No, it's not the first cowrie. I got that nice yellow toothed cowrie. This one is a clandestine cowrie. I have been circling around. I did not circle into the center of the circle yet. <gasps> Mr. Shiny Boy with the big spot on top. Wait, the last time I found a nice one of these, it was smelly on the inside. Oh, I do not care. Look at that lovely round spot on him. Look at that natural glossy shine. This one is a wandering cowrie. Very, very nice. They're a bit of an uncommon one to find from here and always a bit of a joy to find. Super shiny and glossy like that. Also, I will collect up a piece of this lovely elusive pink lace coral. And as I bent down, I noticed this little baby cowrie. This one is quite nicely patterned. Yeah, and he is all whole as well. Uh, judging by the markings, I think that one is a baby or juvenile uh, thick-edged cowrie, the Corica cowrie. Ooh, I want him because he looks shiny. He does look shiny on the top as well. There we go. A very common cowrie from here. It is a graceful cowrie. Ooh, yes. Yeah, it's kind of like kind of gross and green on the outside, but that inside's a very nice shade of purple. This one is the purple four plate barnacle. There is another one of those purple barnacles. Is he like less gross looking on the outside? He might be slightly uh, less gross looking on the outside. And yeah, super nice looking on the inside. Wow, I think that's nicer than the first one. I might mm -hmm, switch it out. Once again, that is a uh, purple four plate barnacle. I'm guessing because uh, when the crustacean is alive, all barnacles are crustaceans, they have four little plates covering their opening in the center. That sun keeps coming and going. It's making it hard to find their shinies. Anyway, this one's not like particularly shiny. It is a scallop. Um, it could be a scaly scallop or it could be one of those rusty ribbed scallops. My goodness, another interesting pearl oyster. This one is a very, very deep emerald color. Just a bit different than the, uh, 
And a very, very maroon one from earlier. I don't know which kind of species these are. If I'm just being honest, I'm just guessing that they're blotched pearl oysters. They're probably not. That one looks like significantly different than the red one. Um, you know what? I don't know. I'm not like too fast on knowing the names of the pearl oysters, if I'm being totally honest. You are very cute just sitting there. Are you? Ooh. He's a little bit broken around that, uh, around that bottom section there, but he's like a juvenile bonnet. He wouldn't have gotten any bigger than that. Um, oh my goodness, here's something unusual, something I don't see very often. I think this one was an agate bonnet. I just picked up this beautiful orangey red bird cardita. Just noticed it looks very, very pink. Oh, that one is very, very nice. I'm finding all the great colors of these today. It's a pink bird cardita. Oh, he's just sitting pretty there. <coughs> is he crabified? You know what? I think I'll have to keep an eye on that one because the crabs do take these, uh, sometimes anyway. It is a top shell. It's a common tent shell specifically. That's a cute little one. I'm not really going into the rock pools yet or at all today. Oh no, he's got a hole in the bottom. He's still very nice on top. That one is a little music cone and a little off-camera graceful cowrie. I do like finding these ones. I don't get them terribly often. It is a trowel clam. Also, it has gotten very cloudy and a little bit windy on this side of the beach. So hopefully uh, it'll calm down a bit, but you might hear some wind noise from now on. Oh, you are colorful, not terribly shiny though, but lovely and colorful. Yes, as expected, beautiful orange on that base as well. This one is a faded little Humphreys cowrie. They're a very uncommon find from here. Well, that looks like a little Australian angel wing. They do not get very large but it's nice to find them from time to time because a lot of times I don't find these ones either. I think I would like to collect up any of these that I see. Yes he is lovely and empty. I do see a lot of live ones of these on the rocks on the other side of the lighthouse. Uh, kind of like where the, where the high tide line would be. This one is a blue periwinkle. Oh yes, he is a nice big one. I've actually tossed a few small bean trivias into my box. Honestly, I just wanted to wait until a nice big one came along to show you. So yep, he's a very nice one. I'll be picking up any more of those that I find. And also, what is this guy? Oh, he is all whole. Look at him. This one is a juvenile cut rut rock shell. It is a type of droop shell. Uh, did I say that was a cut rut rock shell? No, this one is a baby spangler's trumpet. Oh, I can't believe I got that wrong. No, it's not a droop shell. It is a type of triton shell. I'm just going to be collecting up a lot of the, uh, the regular minis, probably off camera. I mean, I'll show them you know, now, uh -huh, this one is a pebble urchin or a mini sand dollar. I also want this guy because I noticed his lovely black and white. Yes, that one is a beautiful keyhole limpet. And also, what's this guy? Oh, he's another blue periwinkle. Okay, wentle trap or land snail? Oh, he is very pointy. Um, I'm actually just going to say that that is a type of wendell trap maybe. He's extremely pointy. I should probably uh, not let him bang around in my box. I might put him somewhere safe. Oh look everyone, it's our good friend, the blotched nerite. Yes, we do. We all love them, right? <laughs> oh, that's a nice little treat. Yeah, it's a piece of that brittle coral that I like to find. This one looks like an especially spiky piece. Let's take a look at this one. He's got some nice frills on him. Yes, there are a couple of nice spikes. This one is the top lid of a Pacific jewel box. That is my favorite kind of pheasant shell. There we go, it's a black one, or at least close enough to it. The uh, black ones are the absolute least common color. They're usually like browns and reds and pinks and oranges. So uh, yeah, the odd black one, uh, wherever it landed, is always a treat. Well, it is almost low tide, so I guess I will look a little bit in the rock pools. There are a few people around at the beach now, so maybe there'll be some left for me, or maybe not. Still, I've collected a very lovely red scaly scallop right here. It looks really, really pretty. Now this scaly scallop. Oh, there's a nice crowned cone. We'll pick up the crowned cone as well. Yeah, this one's just a lot different than the red one. It's got a bit of yellow on it. And this guy, I can already see, he does look empty. Yeah, just a pebble in there. It is the most common cone shell here. It's a lovely crowned cone. They have their very typical lovely pink tips on them as well. Oh, there is a pocket over here. There is a pocket and I do see a shiny one on top. Hello? Ooh, okay. 
okay, he's worn away like a couple of his brown speckles. Still got like a hint of beautiful pink on the bottom. That one is a lovely yellow toothed cowrie. Also there is, I've picked up so many of these today. There is another bird card eater over here. I am going to, uh, oh, oh, does it not open? Oh, everyone. That is a live bird card eater. He does not open. Okay, he goes right back down there. Smush, 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 smush. Oh gosh. I did just use my foot to like smush half of this sand aside. Look who is popping out. Oh, he is shiny. I was hoping he would be shiny because I saw that and I'm just like, is that shine on that eroded cowrie? I think it is. There isn't even any pebbles in there, but he's definitely an empty one. He also feels pretty good. Like he's got a pretty glossy feeling on top. Oh, there are shells down here in the splash zone. It's very hard to focus on any of them. Oh, and the waves are relentless. It is coming up now. I might just like see if I can scoop up a few things, see if anything pops out for me. I'm not sure. I should, you know, have gloves on. I never have gloves on. Mostly just rocks. Yeah, nice little graceful cowrie. Yes, are you nice? Are you nice? Oh, you are nice. I've been um, I've been chucking up bits of shell grit from down there up here between the waves to see if anything pops out. I was not expecting anything to pop out. Like I wasn't even filming uh, throwing the shells more than once or twice because I'm like, this isn't gonna work. Lo and behold, it has. It is another lovely, probably the best so far because it's got all the speckles, another lovely yellow toothed cowrie. What is that? Is that a grape cowrie? It, ooh, <laughs> I am in the splash zone. Yeah, it is a grape cowrie. I saw the side of that and I thought, is that gonna be a whole one? Lo and behold, it is. I don't know if it's a shiny one. It looks like it's got that faded pink coloration about it, but still it's very nice. Also, it's a very odd shape. It's not very symmetrical. Again, throwing more stuff up between the waves. Um, it's just absolutely like coming and coming and coming in because the tide is coming up. I have for myself a very cute little cat cowrie. Let me see if I can get a bit of a better light on him. Yeah, that's better. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> very nice speckles on top of this one. This one is obviously a honey hole that I absolutely needed to film more like uh, <laughs> with more dedication. I mean, there's just lots of shell grit here, guys. It's hard to see under the rippling water. Occasionally I catch a glimpse of something. Oh, I like him. Yeah, I might take this one. Yeah, this one's a nice mitre shell. Missing a bit of its point, but that one is a carrion mitre or carrion ribbed mitre. Oh, that one came up really high. That one looks kind of big out there. Oh, oh, up, 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 up. We're good. These little guys down here are very, very cute. They are the blue periwinkle that I, um, or like the snail that I picked up the empty shell from earlier. There's a lot of them down here in the shade. They kind of live up on the rocks here where the uh, high tide kind of like smashes onto the rocks, gets it all nice and oxygenated. There's a lot of them here. I think this is called the, the literal zone. Anyway, they have been keeping me company while I've been setting up my shell display. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you have enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. It's kind of just like a nice little cluster of color right here that wasn't like terribly much to find but at the same time there were some very nice shells to find so I'm very pleased with today's little mini micro trip and of course it is time to talk about a favorite now so if you do have a favorite as well please let me know down in the comments I got a lot of lovely little pebble urchins some nice bits of pink lace coral there's probably about five separate bits there some nice scallops a lot of bird carditas some nice pearl oysters some very nice cowries a lot of lovely pheasant shells probably a special mention to that lovely black one I always like the black ones there um, some juvenile cowries possibly a wentil trap and some corals as well my goodness um do I want to give any more special mentions you know what I might give a special mention to this yellow toothed cowrie he's got some like scars on top of him that I didn't notice when I picked him out of the rock pool but still very shiny very nice like I haven't put anything on these cowries everyone this is their natural gloss they look just lovely I got a nice uh, cat cowrie as well from that very same little hole so he gets a special mention too and you know what another special mention probably to the lovely purple bird cardita scientific name was something like 
uh, Cardita Aviculina, and that's just what it translated to was bird Cardita. Anyway, we are going to talk about favorites now. Oh my goodness, what is my favorite? You know what? I wasn't expecting this to be a favorite, but like, it keeps catching my eye. The little baby uh, thick-edged cowrie, the little baby Corica cowrie. That's how it looks when it's a baby. Very cute. I think I just like that one quite a bit. But the top favorite for me is the one I was probably the most excited about. Yes, it is a very cute wandering cowrie with a very nice big round brown spot on it. Lovely cream color on the base as well. And it doesn't stink. Um, so, you know, I, I did give it the sniff test. It's fine to take home. So, yep, that's the favorites for today. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.